Hi guys and welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video and it's looking resplendent here with the light glinting off the uh, metal backplate. What we're going to do today is do some more investigations into the uh, Jelly Bean operating system that's now been installed on the Asus Transformer Prime. In the previous video I did some very quick checks on it and uh, didn't really find anything particularly uh, new or brilliant or useful uh, but I'm going to give it a proper go uh, today. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give the Asus Transformer Prime the best possible chance of presenting itself in a good and decent light, which means that I'm going to do a uh, factory reset to get it back to um, all the stuff that it should come with. The reason I'm doing this is because, as you can see here, we've got this icon down here uh, for the Tegra Game Zone, and it's saying that the app isn't installed. So it's as if, during a Jelly Bean update, it's removed some applications so the Transformer Prime maybe doesn't necessarily know entirely where it is. So I'm going to start with the uh, factory reset because I haven't got really anything on it at the moment anyway. Um, I did a factory reset a couple of months ago and I haven't used it since so there's nothing important on here. So to do that I would go to the settings and then I would choose I think one of the most obvious ones, backup and reset and then we're going to go to this middle one here which says personal data factory reset and we shall do that and then I will return in uh, a few minutes or however long it takes to um, get the Transformer Prime back up and running and see what uh, happens so uh, I'll see you in a short while okay then the factory reset was surprisingly very quick and it set itself up uh, nice and quickly managed to get back into my Google account fine uh, the screen is not very bright at the moment, I'll just that in a minute, I just wanted to turn on the video as you see the screen when I first come into it after I've uh, done all my um, logging back in checks, so uh, let's first of all get the brightness back up by turning that on, is that better? I think it is, and we'll just turn the performance on to performance mode. So we're Presented with the normal uh, Google, uh, sorry, the normal Asus screen, as you would see when you bought it when it had ice cream uh, sandwich and so on. A slight difference there is a touch to set up uh, button here, uh, which is for um, my apps in my Google accounts. So it's looking at my library, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Um, so we just have some icons along the bottom, the same ones as before, and then we have the apps here. So it looks as if it's now sorted itself out, and it's got rid of the apps that shouldn't have been there before, such as Google Plus and Messenger. So it's left at what's available now, which is one positive sign. The one strange thing that it's not done is it's not put Google Chrome on. And I thought Chrome was supposed to be the now standard browser for the Jelly Bean operating system. Uh, it's just left me with the default browser, which of course now will not have Flash again, so I'm going to have to install Flash. Uh, if you watched my previous video, Flash wasn't working with the sound. I mean, it looks as though down here, it's uh, downloading all the apps onto the uh, device again uh, to try and get it working. Which is not necessarily something that I want it to do, it's because I guess I've um, backed up the account and it's now restoring everything from the account. I kind of wanted a fresh, uh, clean system, but nevertheless, it's there. Uh, uh, we'll do the usual quick uh, browser test to see if the Wi-Fi is going to be any better. Uh, it's signing in for me. I have a full set of bars down here, uh, four bars on the Wi-Fi, which is a promising start. Let's just see if we can make sure that the desktop is requested. And then we'll go to the BBC and see what happens. Although not much is happening at the moment. As you can see, it's very, very slow. Right. My, it's not registering my finger presses at the moment. As you can see, it's not doing anything. There we are. Well, how long did that take? Uh, I'm now two minutes into the video and the browser says it's not responding. So, well done Asus. You don't really seem to have fixed any of the problems which have plagued the... Hi guys, uh, a little story for you then. Uh, the 
uh, factory reset went fine and very quickly, it took about 10 minutes, uh, if that. But then when I started using the, um, using the Transformer Prime as soon as I'd finished the upgrade, it was going really slowly and sluggish and I had an app application not responding error. So I thought that uh, it was just taking a couple of minutes to sort itself out because it was trying to do download some applications as well, presumably trying to restore a backup. So I've just given it a few minutes and then I've started to do some tests. And to be honest, I can't really tell any difference um, between the previous ice cream sandwich version and um, what's happening now. I mean, this is a classic example. I'm on a website and it's just taking an age to refresh it. Uh, it took about five seconds to do that. If I navigate to another page on the XDA forum, which is a forum I use a lot, it probably won't do anything. I mean, a, an example here, I've tapped on the link and it's just not registered anything. And I'm trying to work out why, so I've got to press on it again to trigger um, the refresh of a page or to go to a new page. Perhaps I'm criticising the default browser a bit too much here, but it just feels like the same old story um, with a lot of things that are going on. So now the page is finished, but as you can see there was a little bit of jerkiness there, and the page still hasn't finished loading, it's just finished loading now. Uh, but when you have to cope with that all the time, it just, it makes me want to just give up and go straight back to another tablet, which I obviously have. Um, I tried again to get Flash working, uh, that was another problem that you saw where Flash wasn't working, so I've installed Flash again from XDA, sideloaded it, and now I'm going to go to the sport page and try and play Flash, um, and it'll get me so far, I will demonstrate here by going to the sport page and hopefully I should be able to tap on here to activate the plugin which means that flash is working and then if I press on here so the video is now playing but there is absolutely no sound and I can change the volume and just to demonstrate that on another tablet with flash installed in the same way it will work because I just tested this I didn't want to bring the Nexus 7 into this video, but I'm going to have to just to demonstrate that here, exactly the same page, and if I play on here, you can hear the sound is working on this tablet, and it's exactly the same page, um, but for some reason, I mean they've both got Jelly Bean, why is Flash not working on that one? Uh, sorry, why is sound not working on that one? Bit of a mystery, that one, uh, as with everything on the uh, Asus Transformer Prime. And going back to the, um, bra the launcher itself, nothing's actually changed in this Asus home launcher. It's, see, it feels to be exactly the same as the previous one. Uh, I do wonder if it's retained that ability to uh, play with about widgets. So there you are, that's one Jelly Bean feature that's working on this um, launch is the ability to reorganize widgets. They'll jump about and try and move themselves if you try and uh, squeeze something into a page. It's not just fixed. That's one of the good features about Jelly Bean. Somebody wanted to know if how Google Now works, so I will test that now. When is the Asus Transformer Prime getting Jelly Bean? And it translated that as, when is your house on Friday getting jelly beans? Not the best example, let's try another one. Who is the President of the United States? The President of the United States of America is Barack Obama. So it got that one, right? So that Google Now is working, as someone wanted me to demonstrate. Another person asked, uh, is their YouTube working? Because apparently they could only access YouTube through another application, such as my own Transformer Prime application. Well, I can tell you that this YouTube application is working. It's loading videos fine. It seems to be doing everything okay. Anyway, I'll just uh, randomly go to another one. And now, at this point, the... Uh, the um, Asus Transformer Prime seems to be working a bit better. It, this seems to be a, a seamless transition from one thing to the other there, which is quite nice and fast, and then uh, an email kicks in. 
So at the moment the applications seem to be working fine, all well and good. Another question that was asked of me was whether Wi-Fi mobile hotspots still work. Well the best way I thought I could test, was, test this was to tether it to my mobile phone. So my mobile phone uh, is currently acting as a Wi-Fi hotspot and it's called Android Hotspot 1584. And you will see here at the top that the Transformer Prime is connected to the hotspot. So we'll just go to the internet and see if it still works. This time I will use Chrome to give you a demonstration of how fast maybe Chrome is. So it's loading up the page and I'm not sure if you can see it but my mobile phone is giving off the um, indications that it's using internet usage. So this Transformer Prime is now connected to my phone and using that as a, a hotspot. Speed as you would expect is uh, pretty average but it still works. So that's just to demonstrate that the Wi-Fi hotspot is working uh, on that test. What I do will do now is a test of transferring data from a pen drive onto the Asus Transformer Prime, which hasn't always been that reliable. And I'm going to put on a specific file if the Asus Transformer Prime picks up the pen drive, which it's seemingly refusing to do at the moment. Let's try that again. So at the moment the Transformer Prime doesn't seem to be detecting at all this pen drive and I know it works because I just plugged it into the PC to get some files off there. This is going to require some investigation so I'll be back in a moment. Right, well that problem was fixed but it was as usual a worrying one for the Transformer Prime. I was plugging in this pen drive and it was doing nothing so what I had to do was what's called a cold boot. So turn off a um, Transformer Prime and then turn it back on with power down and volume down at the same time. I don't know if I needed to do a cold boot but I certainly needed to turn it off and turn it back on again because the USB and the, X the SD card slots were simply not responding to anything I plugged in. I plugged in a mouse, uh, an SD card and nothing was working so I had to turn it off and turn it back on. I tried detaching the tablet from the dock and then plugging it back in. That didn't fix it so it did require a shutdown. But fortunately now it does seem to be working again. So I'll put the pen drive in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer over an ebook and test a certain thing which was terrible in the previous version. So I'm going to copy this item and put it into the ex internal storage if there's anywhere I can put it. I think I'll just put it here for now. So this is just a random book but I want to look at this book through the onboard library book um, app which was atrocious before, never worked and it's just going to be another demonstration to see if uh, the performance has improved. So it would be fine just uh, going through uh, a couple of pages, it would cope fine but once you start to do this it started to get lost. If I want to flick through a lot of pages at the same time and look we have a loading screen here. Now if you pay five hundred dollars, five hundred pounds for a device, do you expect the on the prepackaged applications to do this? The answer is no. Of course you can fix this by getting um, applications from the Google Play Market. But this is just another demonstration of something's gone wrong here with this application. And it's not really telling me what it's doing. It's not telling me whether the application is not responding or not. It's just kind of, well it's kind of working and it isn't. I mean I can scroll pages but it's not very reliable. I've now got a loading screen stuck in the middle of a page. I mean what is going on at, mo at the moment? And this sort of continued performance from the Asus Transformer Prime just makes me not want to bother continue testing it. So I'm pretty fed up already and uh, the changes don't really seem to have made any difference to my Transformer Prime. I certainly don't feel a need to go back to this tablet. However, I want to do some more tests but I think I'm going to need your help to do that. 
So please, if you have any more suggestions like you did in the first video for me to test, please ask me to try them and I'll see what I can come up with. But the problem so far I've experienced in this one is that I cannot get flash to work. Uh, the USB setting uh, failed on the Transformer Prime root requiring me to do a restart and that book application wasn't working as well as it probably should have done. So thanks for watching guys and as I say it's over to you now get me to do some more tests on this Transformer Prime because quite frankly I'm not going to start using it again uh, it's still up for sale uh, I don't think any of the changes that I've experienced so far although granted I've not done that many tests have persuaded me that the Transformer Prime is going to be a part of my uh, daily life on routine again. I'm going to stick with the Nexus 7 which I've got. So, come on guys, convince me. Thanks for watching. I'll make some more videos if you want me to.